New Erica has dropped, unfortunately. <laughs> New Erica has dropped, unfortunately. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go again for, you know, people who play Sacred Stones and just like Erica and no one else. It's just like Sacred Stones in general. Everyone loves Erica. <laughs> well, apparently, according to Tyler, Amelia gets, uh, gets an alt here, so that's good, at least. At least she gets something new. Where's my Cormac alt? Where's my Diesel alt? Come on now. Alright, so... Who we have left in Sacred Stones? Wait, actually, who do we have left in Sacred Stones? Hmm. This is just Amelia. Where's the Ascendant part? Still so heavy after all this time. I know, right? I am strong. Okay, I, I think I just, just got this kind of have like that, um... General, like, uh, silhouette. So, sure. She's our beacon. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, a Savvy Fighter buff. Okay. I, th I, think, I think Savvy Fighter, that's the, the one that's that particular uh, icon. It's cool, she gets a. Uh, Wait, you just break a shield or something? I think she has disencounter on, on her stuff. That's a cool animation. You won't pass me. Oh, that, uh, that, that, that saved like like armor, like sacred some armor sounds. All right, who oh, like sacred stones? All oh, right, I forgot about them. <laughs> I completely forgot about him, <laughs> not gonna lie. I forgot about him. He's just so irrelevant, I just kinda of forgot about him. SC New Trace, hmm. Wait, speed defense, wait, speed defense unity? That hasn't been a thing yet? How is that not a thing yet? How is only now speed defense unity exists? But you have unity skills for quite a few years now. How did that not exist yet? That's w that is definitely a wild wind sword. It is definitely a wild wind sword. What the heck? The Valier, what are you doing here? What's he doing here as a normal dude? Wait, why is it not a mythic? Well, are we really out of, of Sacred Stone's characters that this guy shows up as a normal hero? Instead of a, a mythic? What is this guy doing here? Genuinely, what's he doing here? Oh my goodness, why is he here? Why is he here? No, why is he not a mythic in this? Okay, now here comes here comes Erica. Okay, what does she look like this time? Is it just another normal Erica, or is this something different? Oh no, it, 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 it's, it's brave Erica. Somehow I sense that my brother's strength is flowing through me. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. The joke has been the joke has been passed a long time ago. I'm not saying crud. The joke has been made a long time ago. Did, wait, so this is you're telling me this is Erica as so this is Brave Erica's clothing with Brave Ephraim's like particular weapon type. Okay, we get it. We get it. Like that sound. Like the crit sound. Oh, at least Hater's here. Cool. Okay, so what's her weapon type going to be? Uh, Clutch Over uh, for the man, and that's it. That's kind of lame. <laughs> er Erica may or may not appear again. Wait, so you're saying that, uh... Oh, I was, I was, I was wondering where the, where the other, uh... I was wondering where that other, like, uh, ca main cavalier of Sacred Stone showed up. The fort's here, where's the other guy? I haven't, I haven't used either Ford or Kyle in Sacred Stones like at all, so I kind of forgot they exist. All right, Amelia, let's start. 
So, uh, yeah, she had to get the general look now. She, she, she got promoted. Promotion! I still remember the promotion thing, so, cool. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, maybe, is it just me? Or, like, take away the orange parts of her armor. She looks like Fjorn. She kind of looks like Fjorn underneath the armor. Like, she had, like, jet, like, 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 white and, like, slightly, like, tealish green, I guess, uh, look that Fjorm has. I don't know. But, yeah, she has the, the general look now. So, she promoted. Cool. So, I got more to say here. Let's, let's just continue on. So, uh, her skills. She starts with, uh, as far as save. Okay. Cool. Uh, clever fighter. I think, I think, I think, I'm pretty sure it's a savvy fighter, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna look at the game. I'm, because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have Valencina with this, with a similar skill to this. Um, let me check. Anyway. So, grants AS minus 4 and falls short. Neutralize the effect of guaranteed follow-ups and effect of prevenience follow-ups. Yep. Increases the speed difference necessary for the foe to make a follow-up attack by the way. Wait. Increases the speed difference necessary for foe to make a follow-up attack by 10 during combat. For example, speed difference necessary increases by 10. Speed must be greater than or equal to 15 more than the foe speed to make a follow-up attack. What? Oh. Okay, so it's saying that instead of, okay, so instead of the normal, you need five more speed to do, to do a follow attack, you need 15 more. Is that what I'm saying? Also, if unit speed is greater or equal to the full speed minus 10, reduces damage by, by flat 10. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I, I like the idea of this. I actually generally like the idea of, of this. Uh, hold on. Yeah, it's Savvy Fighter. Yeah, it's Savvy Fighter. Okay, so what's the difference between this and Savvy Fighter? Uh, I think it, it, I think it's just, it's just that new thing, the speed difference necessary. Because uh, the rest of the, the is the same. If phone initiates combat. Okay, so Savvy Fighter 4 uh, has a condition that phone initiates combat. So this one, it just does it. It does not regardless. Uh, and has the whole if uh, damage reduction, but instead of damage reduction by forty percent on Savvy Fighter Four, it's a flat ten here, and also has the uh, the the follow up speed um, speed tier you know difference. So so for what I'm saying this is straight up just a better version of Savvy Fighter Four, like flat out. Uh, although I assume that. Um, I think depending on, like, how defensive you are, maybe Sci-Fi Fighter 4's damage reduction might be better than the flat 10. However, uh, there are a lot of piercing skills, and mo and all the piercing skills deal with percentage uh, damage reduction. This is just a flat number. So you can arguably say that Clara Fighter is straight up a buff to Savvy Fighter 4. Interesting! Okay, you know what? I'm going to say this. This is This is interesting. And what, what I kind of like here also is that it's mostly focused on lowering attack and speed, which means that, like, it, you're focusing more on lowering your opponent, your, the opponent's uh, offense potential uh, while at the same time increasing your defense potential. So I, kinda, I, kinda, I, I, do, I do like this. And it's, I do, in fact, really like this. This, like, uh, a very good buff to just def defensive armors, like, purely defensive armors. In general, so I, I like this, especially considering um maybe like fast armors again like Valencina, like I said Valencina, what I currently have at current plus three is fifty two speed at plus and forty defense, so that's actually pretty dang good. So yeah, I think I say that that's pretty dang good. So maybe we have a good buff to Valencina, and heck, Valencina has AS near save too, so mm -hmm. this could definitely be a, a good good use case for. For Valencina, uh, for Sheena, her defense is way higher at at uh, fifty defense, but her speed is at thirty six. So would, I, I'm not sure. Sci-Fi would not help that much, because one, she's she's an old unit, and two, like her speed, like, can easily be eclipsed, like without um without effort. Uh, but anyway, 
Nice. I, I say this is a a, a, nice, a nice skill, nice buff to Savvy Fighter. Um, and I got no issues with it. Anyway, so Pref A of Sitting Tactics. If you throw into combat or foes HP is, great, is greater than equal to three quarters of the start of combat, that's all plus nine. Okay, that's quite a bit. That's quite a lot. And following effects uh, based on the value of a variable depending on the bonuses active on unit and as when two spaces of the unit. Excluding stat stuff. Okay. So, if uh, the number of bonuses active on units and allies in two spaces of the unit is greater than equal to one, grants, uh, grants the, the same variable plus two on attack defense. Oh no, oh, inflicts it on foe. Inflicts it. Minus, maximum 12. Okay. If there's three bonuses or more, can, oh, okay. There's okay, so th so three or more, then you do the um, distant counter. Okay, which means it's gonna be a bit of an effort if you don't have you don't ha not prepared with all these skills. Sure. And at five damage reduction, damage reduction, piercing, damage reduction, piercing by half. Wow, half piercing. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So. I think you can probably tell I'm probably, I'm probably impressed with this character. So, okay. I think you can probably tell I'm taking a while with this character is because I'm quite impressed. Anyway, our beacon. Cool. Um, Lance, Lance of Grotto. Okay. The start of turn is used within two phases as an ally. Grants attack res plus six by like not by itself. Okay. Then, uh, cool down trouble plus one during combat. Sure. Uh, doesn't stack. Sure. And then uh, neutralizes bonuses during combat to unit. Wait. Whatever. If units with three spaces of an ally grant bonuses to the unit, uh, all equal to five number plus number of allies in three spaces of the unit, max 14. Dang. Okay, neutralizes folks' penalty, units' penalties. Okay, well, alright, that's pretty good. And uh, damage reduction falls for attack by 40%, like flat, okay, 40%. And heals. Alright. I can tell you that I'm quite impressed with uh, Amelia. That's how I actually did, I didn't remember do using Amelia in uh, Sacred Stones when I played it. Uh but yeah, I'm impressed with this. Like definitely uh pure tank potential with a lot of like stuff you can do with it. So yeah, pretty good. Uh next up, Ford. Yeah, not gonna lie, I forgot his existence. Uh just kinda there. It's funny he's the only like normal character here. He's the only normal dude here. It's as if, like, Sacred Stones... We've already used up every single one of Sacred Stones' characters. Hell, oh, did we? Huh, are we out of Sacred Stones' characters? We don't have Mulder. Why do we still not have Mulder? Why the heck do we still not have Mulder in the game? You think this would be a good opportunity to have Mulder in the game, but he's still not in the game yet. What? Are they, what, are they saving him for a demote? Let's see here. Garcia's still not in this game. Seriously, it, are, are, Mulder and, are Mulder and Garcia just not marketable enough? Like, there were, like, big memes of Mulder. Like, I, I don't know if you remember, like, even I remember, like, so, a good good time ago, the, like, people have been memeing Mulder for, like, being an absolute beast, just, even though he's just a healer. So I'm surprised, like, he, um, Fad never caught up to that. I find that weird. And Garcia, again, I'm surprised he's not in this. Unless he's... Wait, actually, who's the grand hero battle in this? Glenn! Oh, Glenn is. Okay. Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm super down with Glenn being the grand hero battle this time. So, if it doesn't know Glenn, is, Glenn is Cormac's little brother. So, I assume it's going to be a, a um, flying lance. I assume it's going to be flying lance, just like uh, uh, Cormag is. I'm just going to probably going to the same region better stat line than Cormag. Just bet, rough him right there. Anyway, let's see. Who else do we ha not have? Let's see. Wait, let's see here. Naomi's in. Calm's in. Arthur's in. Lute's in. Tasha's in. Joshua's in. Uh, Ford, Kyle's in here. Do we have Orson? Like, I don't think we have Orson in the game yet. Like, Orson, normal character. Not, like, going mad over his wife. Nonsense. Sally? I'm pretty sure Sally's only exists as a... As an East, as in like Easter old, a spring old, if I'm not mistaken. So he's still technically still not in the game. Uh, you know, yeah, we're next in the game. Yep, and yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Cali, I think he, pretty sure he's in the game. Re even pretty sure he's in the game. Is I don't think she's even like a fighter, but I think she'll probably be in eventually. 
Oh, oh, the twins' dad's still not in the game. Is he? Uh, is the twins' dad? In? Yeah, the twins' dad's not in the game. Twins' dad father is not in the game. Hate it. I don't recognize. And okay, so uh, yeah, we we still have a good banner or two of sacred stones left. Honestly, maybe you could have like is is mayor as the grand hero battle. Then maybe have like uh, Mulder Garcia. Uh, Mulder Garcia or Sent... Oh, wow. Not, that's three dudes, though. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, Mulder, Garcia, Orson, Sale. But that's like four dudes, and I just really hate having an all-dude all dude banner. They're allergic to an all-dude banner. The pro so the, as soon as I'm going to have like two or three more Sacred Stone banners, like new heroes left, and then just slap like Ascendant or even... What they're, what they're doing here, what, yeah, like ascendant and like uh, rearmed and stuff for like who's left? Like who's freaking left? Afrom? But then it's another dude banner, and like there's not like Lara Chow maybe. Like Lara Chow is popular for some reason. I don't even like Lara Chow, but there's not not a lot of female character Sacred Stones left to be marketable. Okay, anyway, uh, where were we? We were in Ford. Yeah, the point is, we also have a lot of dudes left in Sacred Stones, and I think we already ran out of females, except for Ismair. Unless, let's, let's make Ismair the, um, the premium unit and, and, and whatever's banners left. I don't know. But seriously, they, they could just, like, save, um... Nitha Valier for the Mythic, and then have his slot be, like, be Mulder or Garcia. And it'll be fine. Or if they really wanted to go for um, Ford and Kyle, go for the Ephraim's general path, how why don't you go Sally or go for Orson? I don't know. Anyway, uh, do I care about Ford's moveset? Oh, right, yes I do, because he has SD Unity. Why the heck is it even there? Why do we not have SD Unity yet? That is so weird. That is so weird that th th this is left. And the thing is, like, for the longest time, I had um, Sharina with um, SD Bond waiting, just waiting for SD Unity to show up, but it never did. So I, kind of, I think I remember gave her something else, you know, because because SD Unity isn't coming out, so gave her something else. So, holy crud, why is SD Unity this late? Weird. Anyway, his freaking weapon... Uh, star player phase and phase inflicts, uh... Wait, what the heck? At the start of the player or enemy phase, inflicts speed defense mindset on the unit himself. Why? Okay. Uh, why? Uh... Anyway. The start time unit speed greater than quarter grants all plus fighter and bonuses to all plus all during combat with the current penalty to these stats. Oh, I see. You're lowering your own stats to buff them even more so. So. So instead, of, so you lower your lower your stats to gain more than double the more than double those stats. Okay, I don't think I, I, I don't think that's really necessary, but sure. Uh. Do I really care what's left? Because like, that first part is just so weird. Like it, 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 It's so weird. I don't think it's even necessary. Because the opponent could just like easily like debuff your stats. You don't need to do it yourself. So yeah, honestly, this is kind of a weird weapon. I'm not even going to read the rest of it. I, I really do not care. Okay, Nivellier, why the heck are you here? <laughs> okay, so why is he... Okay, I still... Why is he here as a normal hero? I just find that weird... Like, he's not dead yet, so why is... So, well, first of all, he's not dead yet. Although, well, technically, he technically he's died because Reagan and Dagger are back to the past. So, technically, he's dead. But, like, he's not dead, like, dead, dead from where we are, from where these two are now. So, why is he here? So, for that, why is he here in this in particular? When we have, like, four other dudes, uh, at least four other dudes, left in Sacred Stones... Uh, why is he here as a normal hero, not a mythic? Uh, and, uh... Yeah, why is he here and why is he not a mythic? That's what shit. I mean, art's fine, but I just find it weird. 
I kind of like, like this weird crossbow gun thing. I just find it kind of cool. But anyway. Alright, what do you got? Uh, okay, so let's see here. We got Virtual Death that we know of. We got Seal Defense Res 3. Okay. Alright. I don't know why it's new, but sure. Blazing Thunder for some reason. So anyway, um, his weapon's a ballista. So um, let so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right here again. I know we're we're taking a long time. We're over twenty minutes here. Uh, is this how they're gonna do ballistas? Just just to make just make um horse bows. Like I like I can understand if the way they're gonna make like guys uh, the ballista characters from Shadow Dragon uh be a thing by having them be um bow units. For me, that makes sense. But like. Uh, ballistas, ballista or whatever, they're, uh, best suited for, like, armor units, like, armor bows, I guess, because they don't move that much, um, so I can imagine, and maybe they have a, a stat distribution to be kind of weird, like, make them, like, very frail armor bows, so more, uh, better magnetic sites for them being ballista, I don't know. Uh, because, uh, this guy, he's one. Of, he's on one of those like weird mechanical horses. That makes sense to be calf, but yeah, they're just gonna call it. They're just gonna call it a ballista, even though they're just really just bows. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Anyway, what do you got? Uh, enable. So on uh, third turn, during turns one through four, he can get uh, cancel four. So in the third turns one through four. I think yeah, it's similar to Reagan. Reagan's things. Grants cooldown count minus three, and he has Blazing Thunder, which is a four cooldown. Grants cooldown count minus one to allies within two spaces. Has hex, has has hexblade in himself, and you can give hexblade allies within two spaces of unit. Okay. At the start of unit, at the start of combat, it needs to be greater than a quarter. Grants AS to six unit. Sure. Grants bonuses equal to uh, attack and speed based on unit speed. Wow. Attack and speed bonuses scale on speed. Damage equal twenty percent unit speed. Sure. Dem um, damage reduction by thirty percent. Uh, and that's it. That's it. I mean, the hex plate stuff is cool, but uh... sure, just more stats, more movement, hex blade, Sure, I, I'm gonna assume that the given hex, given hex blade to, uh, to your seven allies, like by default, will probably be like the default for all ballistic characters. That'd be cool. As you can probably tell, I, as you can probably tell, I, I really do like the uh, the ballista characters in in Shadow Dragon. Uh, I, I I already forgot his name, even though I shouldn't have forgotten his name because I like it. I, well, whatever. I I stopped, I gotta stop caring because uh, now we're now we're on now we're on Erica. All right, all right. Okay, let's see here. One first thing, first thing, no, she wears green. She so she wears green in this. Uh, and for those who don't know, Erica normally wears like yellow and red, so that's kind of her her thing. So, uh, so once again, we got an Erica referencing Ephraim. At that point, why are we surprised? And then, then that quote that Erica said to Ephraim is like very sus. But at this point, like she's not hiding it anymore. So yeah, she wears she did she wears Ephraim's clothing again. Or at least his color scheme again has an axe. Has an axe this time because Brave Ephraim had an axe. Uh, she still stays infantry this time. At this point, why make her arm, armor axe just to be a Brave Erica alt to reference Brave Ephraim? That would be really funny. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a thing. All right, skills. So your X skill has uh, NCD. I keep forgetting what NCD even does, to be honest. So, it... All it does is, like, makes you counterattack, even if your opponent tries to tr tries to negate it. So, is it even necessary? I don't know, I, I feel like this is kind of a nothing skill. Anyway, time spells for short... Oh, d minus doubler. Yeah, we had, I think I had a unit like that before. So, cool. Uh, Moonlit Bengal Q. Okay, what's with the Q? We got an this of E, and then we got a Q. I know we got a bunch of Moonlight Bangles, but I don't think we, we've, we've had 
so many Moonlit Bangles that were on plain Q. Unless you meant the Queen. I don't know. Anyway, what does it do? Because uh, it did quite a lot in the actual trailer. If it initiates combat, unit speed is greater than it goes to full speed minus four, unit can counterattack before it's full attack. Sure. And you end with the SCDE. Uh, you got uh, you can counterattack even if opponent wants to negate it. Inflicts ASD minus one foot in combat. Sure, unit deals damage equal 20% of foe's defense. Okay, interesting against armors. Or not even against armors, just like, just like bulky units in general. Sorry, Core Mag. Uh, grants cooldown minus one unit before first attack, and cooldown minus one units before first follow up attack and neutralizes cooldown. And cooldown minus on on unit. So, uh, attack special, 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 special. That's all you're talking about. Special attack and counter is special. Why not? Because why not? All right. Uh, what the frick is this? The special is named Gus. <laughs> Oh wow, my, spe my, my my big important special that I revolve my entire kit around, or entire kit about just proccing as much as possible, is named after the weakest flying type move of all time. The weakest flying type, like, attack. Oh, no, I don't know, the weakest flying type attack, I don't know. It's, it's, ju it's just a, little, a, tiny, a tiny gust of wind. Oh wow, wow, weakest flying type attack. I'm not sure what's weaker, Gust or Peck. I don't remember. Gonna one special, one's physical, and this is definitely special. I don't know, or or or, or is it called Gust, not Peck, because it's a special? <laughs> anyway, uh, boost special by by 50 percent unit speed. Okay, given this game, it's probably gonna be a lot. If uh, the special is ready, if any specials is ready, or just uh, triggered in combat. And your speed's a bit faster. Damage reduction by 40%, sure. Anyway, six sisterly acts. Sisterly acts. Sure. Anyway, Erica, Erica, you need, you need to stop thinking about Ephraim F, 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 all, all, like, all the time. It's not healthy. <laughs> well, you should depend, you depend too much on Ephraim for like just about everything. You should really stop. Be your own woman for crying out loud. Anyway, oh, uh, uh, then it, but then again, but then again, I've heard that a lot of anime like at this current time is a lot. It's very uh, into li younger sisters. Maybe a coincidence. Maybe not. Maybe I just want to go to the anime trip, but just just uh, you know the tiny little girl saying Oni Chan to everything, or or just to say oh, just yelling Oni Chan just to, to every situation. Anyway, uh. Phantom Speed, sure. And it's not a turn, it units with two spheres of an ally. A6 and dodge, sure. Uh, it units with three spheres of an ally, grants bonus units, all plus five with the number of foes and three rows of to the center and unit, sure. Max 14. Okay, we get it. You like speed. Damage reduction, for Wait, damage reduction uh, by 20% unit speed. Damage reduction based on speed, on your speed. Damage, let's see here, and piercing uh, half. And, uh, and heals. Again, Erica, you should really stop the pain on Ephraim from everything. It's not healthy. Alright, uh, yeah, I think we know everything now. Honestly, this is just a weird banner. This is a, a needlessly weird banner. I'm gonna end up here. We're literally at the half, at like the half hour mark. I'm done. See you guys later.